A local man wants to save the lives from something most people have never even heard of or even think about. It's called electric shock drowning, and it can kill swimmers instantly. Tim Becker in Oregon City, where first responders were getting a lesson today. A place like this, a marina, is where a lot of the danger lies. Electricity can be in the water. A silent killer, they sometimes call it, and Kevin Ritz learned about it the hard way. In one minute, he was splashing and playing and having a fantastic time, and the next moment he was gone. Just like that. Didn't touch anything. Kevin lost his eight year old son Lucas to electric shock drowning while swimming in a marina on the Willamette River. As I continue to turn it, it just gets brighter and brighter and brighter. It is why now he is so passionate about sharing the costly lesson he learned. So when you get this near voltage, this demonstration is for Clackamas County firefighters. It's very important, and that most of our crews, this is the first time they've heard about it. So uh, this has been a, a big eye opener for everybody. Shut the power off there. Kevin's message is simple: fresh water and electricity. Don't mix. He says marinas and boat yards are havens for electric currents flowing through the water. Things like wiring, boats, their batteries, and their generators kill unsuspecting swimmers nationwide every year. Last year we lost um, 12 people, mostly kids, and we lost three of them on the 4th of July alone. His son Lucas was killed in 1999. Saving lives now helps ease the pain even 14 years later. I've asked myself, you know, how does he do this over and over and over again? And yet I've seen him three times this month do it. And each time, you know, you see that emotion when he's talking about his son and, and the tragic loss there. It helps me cope. It's what I need to do. To It's my therapy. Kevin's goal is simple. He doesn't want anybody to have to go through what he did. To learn more about his crusade, you can go to his website, electricshockdrowning.org. In Oregon City, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.